guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Elizabeth and today's video is going to be a what's in my camera bag. I recently, I guess it was like maybe seven months ago, got a House of Flame backpack. Um, I love it. They are just a little bit pricey, but I got this one on sale. It has been everything that I hoped it would be. Before this, I just had my standard like camera bag that my camera kit came in. And this is obviously an upgrade. I get so many compliments on it, and I absolutely love it. So today I'm going to kind of go through the whole thing and show you what I carry in here on a typical shoot. So they do have an unpacking video of a backpack on their website, and that's kind of what convinced me to buy this is because it holds a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. I absolutely love it. It's very sturdy. Um, I don't think they advertise it as waterproof, but... I shoot in the rain pretty often and it has been a trooper. I took it to Ireland with me and used it as my carry-on and you know it rains a lot in Ireland so this bag did wonders. I absolutely loved it. The first thing I'm going to, well first I should probably just show you the bag. So this is the bag. It has a lot of pockets and it's a backpack. And so this backpack also has the straps that you can strap like in the front of you. Um, as well and I really like that. I can probably find some pictures of me wearing it and insert it in here. Um, it's very comfortable to wear. I wear it for 10 hour wedding days and I mean yes after 10 hours it does bother me but not as much as like you know carrying my like one strap bag I had before would just like dig into my shoulder and afterwards like it was just so painful. So this is an upgrade. So the first thing is it has a pocket back in the back for laptops. So the first thing that I have in here is my laptop. Um, it's easy to have, you know, when I'm at a wedding I can download images from my second shooter and just have everything on here. I love that. I also have in here some little programs from a wedding that I worked a few weeks ago. I just stuffed them in there so I'd have them for detail shots later and forgot to take them out. So that's a bonus today. In this top compartment. I usually keep my camera in here, but right now I'm filming on it, so, you know, it can hold up to two camera bodies, at least. I fit two camera bodies with their lenses on in here just for easy access during a wedding day, but in here right now I have a lens because I used it for a shoot yesterday and didn't want to put it in the bottom part, so I just have a 35 millimeter lens in here. I also have the flash that I currently have, like, I want to say it overheats with the batteries that I use, so I have rechargeable batteries, but for a wedding, like, when those overheat, I can't pop them in the charger and, like, you know, charge them because they're overheating and they need to cool off before I do that. So I have a ton of batteries in my bag right now. I just had a wedding, I think, two weeks ago, and I haven't gone through and organized my batteries, so we will find lots of batteries today. In the next compartment, we're going to go on this side. You just unzip it. And I have pockets over here. Right now I don't have anything in this bottom pocket, but I do have, I have a multi-purpose, multi-whatever charger in here. Um, it works for my phone and for a speaker I have in my bag just in case it dies. So I keep a charger with me. I also keep a portable phone charger for my phone just in case um, my phone starts to die. Working a 10 hour wedding is long, and I mean I'm not on my phone, but like, if it would die and I need directions to get home or something, I have that. Um, I have an extra camera battery. I have a wall charger for that charger. And then I have another extra camera battery up here. These are nice little, like, battery. Um, they're, like, cozy battery holders. I think that's actually what they're made for, our batteries. So that's what I stick in there. I'm just putting all this stuff back now. Um, but in the middle... Since I have batteries, I have one battery in my charger in my bag and one in my camera. But in the middle I have this little Nikon remote because I use this for self-portraits. I love this thing. It was only $6 on Amazon. 10 out of 10 would I recommend, but I put it right here so that I don't lose it. Um, over here in the zipper slide, this is actually sewn right here, so there's two different spots. And so during a wedding day I put empty memory cards on the top and then um, used memory cards on the bottom so that I can keep them separate and easily like reach in and grab one when I need to switch. So that's that side. Now we'll switch it around to the other side 
And so it's the same size pocket, but they're a little bit different. So in this top pocket, I have lots of tissues. Um, people get emotional on weddings, and when you're doing a shoot outside when it's cold, even if it's just like a family session, like sometimes with the wind, like it makes your eyes water if you have like makeup on. So I have like little tissues in case you need to like wipe your eyes or like blow your nose or whatever, um, just in case. Next up over here are, these are actually little holders for like pens and pencils and whatever. I use them for tampons though because you never know, like you don't want to be getting married and have one of your bridesmaids or you start your period or me as a photographer, like you gotta be prepared and so I also have pads in this bigger pocket right here. I have lots of like random stuff in here that like if anything goes wrong I got you covered. In this pocket over here, it's actually one big pocket, unlike the other side that had the um, seam right here. But, but I keep an actual pen in here, just in case. And then I also have black tape. The reason that I used to have this in my bag was because if I had a shoot and it started raining, I had plastic bags in my old camera bag, and I would tape the plastic bags on my camera so they would be rainproof. I have since upgraded to an actual camera. Um, waterproof protector thingy that I'll show you in a second but I still have the tape in here just in case because you never know when you might need some tape but that's all for that side so let's move on to the middle pocket so when you open this pocket it's kind of a mess I did not clean out my bag to do this video this is how it is real day in the life um unorganized mess so here we go but it has the house of Flynn bags are really nice because they come with these inserts that are velcro and so you can customize how you want them and where you want your pockets and everything and then I really should have moved my camera for this so I don't have to hold up my heavy freaking bag um, this part that folds down also has a zipper pocket for easy access for everything else so I'm gonna go through and show you guys what I actually have in here in the front zipper pocket I keep my wallet if I need money or anything in here right now it's empty except for I have some bobby pins you know when you need a bobby pin because someone's hair is in their face or whatever like that's something that you're like oh my gosh I don't want to have to edit her hair out of her face later like just reach in your bag and be like here's a bobby pin let's fix it now um, makes it so much easier I have another tampon in here um, I recently had an allergic reaction had to go to the hospital so I now carry an EpiPen with me for some reason a lot of the food that I have at weddings makes me sick um, just because it's so fancy and I don't eat fancy on a daily basis. So I've got myself an EpiPen just in case anything happens. And then I also have the instructions in here just in case someone wouldn't know how to use it. I like to carry those, um, you know, just in case. In the big pocket, we're going to start by going, we're going to start up here and I'm just going to like go down. So like I said before, more batteries. I have a ton of batteries. I also said that I liked to carry a speaker and have the charger, so I have a little speaker here. It was only $10 from Best Buy on Black Friday a couple years ago. Um, it's Bluetooth. It hooks up to my phone when I do boudoir clients and work in the studios. I encourage them to make a playlist of what makes them comfortable and say that they can hook up anything to this speaker, and it makes it way more fun, way less awkward, and makes them more comfortable because they're listening to their own music, so I love to carry a speaker with me. I have some ibuprofen in here also because weddings are long days. Like I said with my camera battery before, I have another one um, in the charger ready to go into the wall. Um, I need to plug it in before my sessions this weekend. The flash that eats up all of the batteries and makes them overheat is my Nikon flash right here. This is a lifesaver for dark situations at weddings. Um, it's the Speedlight SB700. Um, it is what it is. But it came with this like diffuser thing on it, so I just keep that in here. Also, um, when I do use rechargeable batteries for this, I have the charger for that in here also. I also carry a lot of lenses, and so I have a lens on my camera now. But I also have my 55 to 200 millimeter lens in here. I have my Sigma 17 to 50 millimeter lens in here also. I have the, another charger for the speaker. This is like a glasses cleaner or lens cleaner, I guess. I didn't know I had this in here, but surprise, surprise. This is something that came with the camera bag, just in case I want to take out all of the inserts. Um, this kind of just keeps them all together. 
The only time I've taken out all of the inserts was when I went to Ireland and I put all my camera stuff in the top pocket and then put, like I used it as a carry-on, so I put clothes and shoes in the big pocket in the middle. Um, just because I didn't need all of my camera stuff for Ireland, but I wanted a little bit of it. So, down at the bottom, as promised, I have more batteries! <laughs> These green ones are the rechargeable ones I use. And the last thing I have in this pocket is my rain cover for my camera. Um, this is my upgrade from what I was using before. And so, so far I like this. I've only used it a handful of times, but haven't had any problems with my camera getting wet because of it. So I just got it on Amazon. I don't remember from where, but they have some good options on there and I think it was less than 20 bucks. So. Works for me, it's not like I go out and shoot in like huge rainstorms or anything, it's always just like a light drizzle. So this is what my camera bag looks like, empty, I have all of these pockets and have, you know, little things that go in each of them. So this was what was in my camera bag, I hope you guys enjoyed, if you have any questions be sure to leave them down in the comments below. Um, be sure to subscribe to my channel because I do post photography videos pretty often and yeah, let me know if you guys have any questions or suggestions on what videos I should make next that are photography related because obviously I'm a photographer. I love everything that has to do with pictures and I would like to share some of that knowledge with you guys if you have questions. So be sure to leave me a comment down below and I will see you guys next time. Bye!